AFC RD TV. We're here following today's two all draw with Tamworth, and I'm joined by Diamonds around the match, Fernando Beltuxlo. Fernando, I mean, what a game of football. Do you think it was a point gained or two drops? Uh, it definitely feels like two drops. Um, when you're 2 0 up, sort of, you, you, we played well first half, I thought, and then you just thought to yourself, like, if you just see it out to the end, if we win the second half, we win the game. Um, and unfortunately, give away a stop of goal there in the second half, and yeah, definitely, um, it's a disappointing dressing room there at the end. Change the formation today, uh, more of a 4-4-2, how do you think that worked? Yeah, I thought, I thought it worked well, um, definitely a little more of a goal threat going forward in the first half particularly and then towards the last 10-15 minutes of, of the second half. Um, I think we, we sort of changed formation due to uh, we didn't really create any, many chances against people sports so we thought we put two up top there with Bushy and Lorik who, who both did well with their goals today and both worked their socks off, um, thought we'll try to get another goal and yeah, um, worked. He got off to a good start with that formation. Obviously, like you say, both strikers getting their goals and, and that'll do their confidence the world a good. First goals for the club for each of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they've both done well there, Lorik and, and Bushy. Um, but like I said there, they've worked their socks off. I thought Bushy in, in particular was fantastic today. He held it up, won flick-ons, got his goal and yeah, hopefully hopefully many more to come. Obviously, Tamworth got that goal back in the 36th minute and I suppose it's disappointing, isn't it? You know, being to like, the next goal, being so crucial, it's just a shame that they got it because it, it gave them, you know, a foothold back in the game. Yeah, exactly. They, they, we were saying there at half-time, look, we get the next goal, they'll, they'll, they'll fall away and um, unfortunately they got the next goal and yeah, I think it was just too late when we started to push on and really kick on the last five, ten minutes. It should have been the last 15, 20 minutes straight after they scored the goal. We should have sort of like, been more on the front foot and tried to, to get that third goal. It seems to be not a concern, but perhaps a habit that we can see quite a lot of our goals in that period after half time. Would you agree? Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know the statistics you've had, um, so I, I haven't had a look at it, but if, if that's the case, then yeah, it will be a concern. Sort of, we need to come out, we need to start the second half quicker. Um, I thought, too far, I thought we started the first half well. Um, and if we would have continued in that vein in the second half, then I think they wouldn't have scored that second goal. Yeah, Tamworth did have their chances, had a couple clear off the line as well, but we had a couple of our own as well, uh, with Bushy and, and Collard as well. So yeah. to be honest, either side could have won it. Yeah, no, it was. Um, it felt like a tennis game there in the second half. It was a two end to end and we don't want that. We want to try to control the game more. Um, which we, I think we could have and, sh and should have, to be fair. Um, but to be fair to them, credit to them, they, they did well to get their second goal. And obviously with Peaksy and, and Champs coming back, they, they're always um, going to be up for it and so are the lads. So it's a point today and we move on to Redditch away next week. And that'll be a tough one, as they all are. But they're flying for form. You know, one of the form teams in the league. That's going to be a good test for us. Exactly. Redditch are in good form. They're particularly good at home as well on that Astro. They know, they, they know how to play on that Astro. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough game. It's, it's not going to be an easy game now. Seven games left of the season. They're all going to be seven cup finals. And we're going to do our utmost best to, to try to cement our place in them playoffs and have a good end to the season. Absolutely. Well, thanks for your time, Nando. We'll see you next week. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Fernando and Joseph. It's a sunny Saturday afternoon here at Hayden Road. It finishes AFC Rushing Dogs 2, Tamworth 2. Uh, well, I'm a little late to the party, but it's now my turn to uh, welcome you, Andy uh, Burgess, to uh, AFC Rushing Dogs. It's great to have you as our manager. Thank you very much. Uh, well, for the neutral, it was an entertaining match, but of course, we're not neutral, are we? And uh, gee, a, a, sort of a tough result, really, for Diamonds, even though it's a 2 2 draw. Yeah, uh, disappointing, I think, from the fact that we were 2 0 up. Um, start brilliantly uh, but we, you know we came into it after the first goal which I thought Lurie took, took really well um, then to go and, and, and get a second I thought you know, we looked in a good place um, I would have loved to have got through to half time um, at 2-0 and I thought that would have probably given us a, a, a good stat a, a good a good platform to, to go into the second half and, and re you know if we'd have gone in a 2-0 gone on, come out second half regrouped a little bit and, and, and been a lot more solid and more um, in, a, in a better place to, to kick on in the second half as it was we've conceded at a bad time they've come in with the tails up a little bit um, and it's given them the, the, the momentum sure. and taken it away from us so uh, it's frustrating uh, because when you get yourself two goals ahead you want to you, you feel like you should win the game but there's positives to take and we will take them um, Definitely. but we'll certainly yes. have a look at uh, things that didn't go quite right I think we'd have to admit Diamonds didn't have the best performance Tuesday night against uh, at Peterborough Sports so how did practice go on uh, Thursday? It went well yeah, we looked at the, at the shape after Peterborough um, we've changed it today uh, I thought it worked well I thought having two centre forwards both centre forwards scored a goal I thought it allowed us to get up the pitch a lot better I thought it allowed us to, to hold things and bring players into play um, and it occupies the centre half so it doesn't make it easy for, for, their, for their back four which I think at times when you play one it becomes too easy for them. so I was pleased with the shape uh, and we worked on it hard on, on Thursday uh, we've now got a week 
to, to, to develop it more and um, we look forward to Greenwich. I'm probably the last person to uh, talk uh, strategy or get too technical, but uh, you did go with uh, today the basic of 442, it looked like, instead of the, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, we decided to say it was it was to get two centre forwards up really because I, I prefer two centre forwards. I think it's a lot easier for players to play with somebody up there. And I thought right. Bushy and Bushy and Laurie did really well. Bushy led the line superbly. I thought oh, it was the best game for us. Uh, it was the best game since I've been here. Um, and he got his goal, which was just rewards really for the player and his effort. And his um, we, we need to be better at the top end of the pitch. We need to create more. Unfortunately, though, only one goal in the second half, and that for uh, Tamworth, uh, the equaliser, and um, that's how it finished, too, too. We had our chances, but just nothing would fall. Yeah, the second goal, uh, I'll reserve a little bit of judgment until I've seen it, but I wasn't particularly happy with what happened on the edge of the box. It looked like far too easy. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't get tight, we didn't put a tackle in. Again, I'll have a look at it on the video, but it, it looked too easy. The cross was coming too easy and scrappy in the middle, so it, it was a frustrating, a frustrating couple of goals to concede because they could have, they were avoidable, but yeah, we went down. Bushy had a header. We had a couple of uh, flashes across the box and, and a header at the back post. Alex. So, mm. although you know we, we weren't, we didn't create clear to clear cut chances in the second half. I thought we were more of a goal threat throughout the ninety minutes, and, uh, and that's a positive. Oh, well, I'm a master of the cliche. It was it's always a game of fine margins. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah uh, you've got a new player on the way. You've just signed uh, Jordan Graham. It's pronounced encouraging. Yeah, John's a good player. We, myself and guys, worked with him. He was a bad injury uh, a few years ago. Um, that kind of set him back a little bit, but he's 24 years old. He's got a bit between his teeth. He just needs a little bit of fitness. If he gets him, you know, that fitness into him, he'll be a good player for us. So, looking forward to working with him. Sure. Sure. And, uh, hopefully, he'll be, he'll be uh, he'll work this week and hopefully be more ready for next Saturday. Finally, uh, Andy, we move on to the next game at uh, Redditch United. I think Wayne Darby has something to do with that team. So uh, that'll be another tough match. Uh, I used to say back in the day you were a magician for the old Russian Diamond, so hopefully you can uh, continue your magic uh, with AFC r &D. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. No, it'll be a tough, tough, tough game at Redditch. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a 3G pitch, which I think will suit us. Um, but we'll go up there, we'll regroup this week, we'll look at what we didn't quite do well enough, and we'll look at what we did do well enough, and uh, hopefully it will be take us up there and, and do enough to, to, to get all three points. Sounds great. Thanks, Burge. No problem. Thank you.